What's up guys, welcome back to Fix or Pass. This is episode number 15. So we just celebrated Memorial Day on Monday, which is the official start of summer. So we figured let's do some convertibles um, to kick off the whole summer vibe. Uh, convertibles are really cool cars, cool cruisers. The open air feel is hard to beat. Uh, some people call them drop tops, rag tops, whatever you wanna call them. We're gonna go over a few projects, a few somewhat finished cars, give you our thoughts on them. As always, the links are in the description, so if any of these cars pique your interest, feel free to click on them and uh, contact the owner. Maybe you can get yourself a new convertible. All right, so without further ado, let's get it cracking. Very first car here right off the bat. This is on Bring a Trailer. Uh, this is a 65 Chevelle Malibu SS convertible four speed. Looks like it's black. Uh, current bid is $15,000 on this car. It ends in three days. So you have a couple days to uh, ruminate about this, look at some pictures, maybe bid on it. Uh, car location, plates are in New Jersey. And uh, let's look at some of these essential details here off to the right. Yep, location Fairhaven, New Jersey. Uh, TMU on the mileage stands for True Mileage Unknown. Uh, it has a 383 stroker, Muncie four speed, 12 volt axle, black on black, on black. So a triple black convertible, American Racing Torque Thrust. Um, corn bumpers reverse sense. Okay, very cool. Let's read uh, a little bit about it. It's got the 383 stroker, so that's obviously a replacement engine, not the original one. Most of these had a smaller displacement V8. Originally, uh, the Hurst shifter, the four speed, it's kind of cool. Uh, you usually don't see too many convertible stick shift cars. It's a little bit more rare due to the fact that a lot of people were, you know, not associating a convertible with a performance car. Um, some people still don't. Some people say a true muscle car is not a convertible. But uh, for that reason, not too many were ordered new with a stick shift. Most people wanted to put it in gear and just cruise with the top down and enjoy it. Uh, so, kind of a rare thing to have a stick shift, which is kind of neat. Uh, body is finished in black, repainted during previous ownership. Black top, 383 badges. So this is not like an all original car. Uh, let's see here, passenger side quarter panel was replaced, rust above the windshield. Talks about new tires, front and rear, power steering, power brakes, interior looks nice. So the seller has 1,400 miles on this. So. Kind of common with convertibles. A lot of times they're fair weather cars. People aren't driving these every day. They're not putting a ton of mileage on them. So it looks like in this guy's ownership, he's only put 1,400. Here's some undershots. Uh, here's a body trim tag shot. And uh, the decoding is done for you here on Bring a Trailer. So that saves you a little bit of work. Looks like it was an artesian turquoise car originally with an ivory vinyl interior. So that's kind of a real pretty color combo too. Um, the lighter colors are kind of prevalent on the interiors on convertibles because when you have that top down, I think sits out in the sun for a little bit and these black interiors, they can warm up and, and get real hot once they're out in the sun. Um, so something to think about if you're in the market for a convertible and you're gonna park it somewhere while you eat lunch or something, when you get back in, that black interior is gonna be piping hot. A uh, lot of really good pictures. Let's uh, quickly go through these because we could spend all day looking at the pictures here. Very presentable car. You can see the dual exhaust. Um, it's got a you know classic muscle car stance, black on black. You know, 65 is a great year for these cars. This is a GMA body, so you know it's it's a, it's a Chevelle. So any parts available. There's not too many convertible specific things on this car. Uh, just the top mechanism, uh, but the fenders, most of the body, it's all the same. So we're gonna rush through these because there's a lot of pictures because it being a bring a trailer ad, they require a lot more photos, a lot more details, which is good. Um, but you can see here some kind of, you know, sloppy body work, I would say, or maybe some previous rust repair. Um, it did mention the quarters were replaced. You can see here a little bit of bubbling too. Not too bad. I'd be curious to see what the floors look like on this car and really any convertible. Really focus on the floors because those convertible tops are notorious for either leaking or uh, they get a tear in them and they fill up with water or you know they get caught out in the rain with the top down. Real common for convertibles to have a few more rust problems than a normal car that's always sealed up on the roof. Um, so something you wanna look at in that. Um, pretty presentable car, it's not perfect. It's got some flaws, the paint's not exactly perfect. Missing an antenna, top looks all decent, serviceable. There's that 383 badge, Malibu SS, disc brakes, drum brakes in the back, classic American torque thrust. Interior looks mostly original. 
Uh, you can kind of see in here in the jams, a lot of times when you're trying to assess the quality of body work and paint on a car, you got to look in the spots that, uh, you know, a lot of times get looked over. Like this is the door sill plate. When you open the door, you can see the seat belt up here in the corner. And these jams here, nobody pays too much attention to them because when the door is closed, you don't see them. But a really nice high-end paint job, this will all be smoothed. Um, and body worked and finished to like the same quality as the exterior of the car. So something to think about when you're when you're paying big money for a car, look at all those door jams, all those details, all the little spots where uh, a lot of times people cut corners. Look at those because that'll, that'll tell you a lot about uh, you know how much effort was put into repairing a car if it's not an all original car, um, which this one's not. It was turquoise originally, so it's been painted. Interior is pretty presentable. It's got that really cool Hurst shifter, original style steering wheel. I love the, the instrument cluster on these cars. It's real classy. Um, this one has a cool tack right here, it looks like. I wonder if that's functioning. Maybe the car's running, because it's at like you know, 1100 RPM, so that'd probably be idle. Yeah, it's, it's running. It's got good oil pressure. That's always a good sign. Let's keep going. Yeah, and it's actually warmed up. So something to look at too. If you're looking at a car that has any pictures of the instrument cluster, um, it's nice to be able to see what the oil pressure is when the car is warmed up. Because usually once they're warm, that's when a tired motor will drop down in oil pressure. So always correlate the two, the water temp with the oil pressure when you're looking at those gauges. Um, that'll give you a good indicator of the condition of, of the engine on the car. Um, if you're not able to like go through and do a real in-depth compression test or something, this is kind of a handy one. You can see the car's warmed up. It was idling as we saw in the RPM gauge and the oil pressure is right at 45, so that's, that's pretty respectable. Um, original radio, let's keep going, let's keep going. I'm getting hung up on some of these, but pretty presentable car. This is, this is a really nice car that you can get in and, and really cruise this summer. Um, so 80 pictures, so really good ad. Uh, there's a few comments in here as well. Um, people ask on Bring a Trailer about any previous repairs, structural frame, and it looks like the seller jumped in here, clarified some of this rust repair uh, question stuff. Uh, somebody asked, has it had rust repair on the frame? Um, these are body on frame construction cars. He says, no, it's not on the frame. It, it was, uh, you know, sheet metal. So look at that. Bring a Trailer is a good forum. We really like looking at cars here because the ads are exactly what we want. They're really tailored. They vet the cars a little bit. Um, so a lot of the questions are answered right in the ad. So I'm gonna say fix on this car because it does have some details you could go over and clean up and make it your own. But it's a 65 Chevelle. Uh, it's a convertible. It's at 15 grand right now with three days left. So that could, that could run way up towards the end of the auction. Uh, I don't think this car will get huge money because it's not all original. Um, it's not perfect. It's not a super nice car. So who knows what this will go for. I'd be curious to keep an eye on it. Um, but I say fix on this one. Next one, this one is in Escondido. So right in our backyard, North County, San Diego. This is a Dodge Coronet convertible. Priced at 39,000, 69 Coronet 500 convertible. Very presentable and dependable driver. So right off the bat, he's telling you this is not a show car. This is a very presentable, dependable driver which is good. I mean, he's, he's kind of setting the stage for your expectations on this car. Original 318 V8, automatic transit, transmission, power steering, power top, new wheels, brakes, shocks, and much more. So it sounds like he probably has a list of parts he's replaced that you'll have to call and get a little more info on. Let's look at some pictures. It's red, great looking car. I, I really like these Coronets. Um, I like these, these Mopars. You don't see a lot of the convertibles, but it does look good. It really, the body style kind of lends itself to it. It's got that cool RT stripe here. Um, good looking car. It's in a kind of a dry climate here in Southern California. If you are in the market for convertibles, as you'll see, we're, we had trouble kind of finding cars up in the Northeast area because they're so seasonal there that they just didn't sell as many convertibles. Here in Southern California, we get a handful of days of rain. And so you see a lot more convertibles. Um, even in Florida where it rains a little more, it's hot there a lot, it's sunny. So you see more convertibles in those coastal areas. So keep that in mind if you're shopping. You know, you might, you might see that there's more available in certain regions of the country as far as convertibles go. Uh, car looks really complete. Got a nice looking grill. It's got some American racing. I think they call those salt flat wheels on it. Real classic. Got a bench seat, that's kind of cool. Uh, automatic, so this is like more lends itself with the 318 that's the smaller V8 and the automatic transmission. This isn't like your hardcore muscle car, not a big block car or anything, but being a convertible, 
A lot of times that's what you got. You got the lower end options because people were cruising. They weren't looking to race these cars. They weren't looking for an all out performance like Hemi car or something like that. So when you do see like a high performance option engine or trans in a convertible, it's usually really rare. Um, I know some of the most valuable Mopars ever sold are like Hemi convertible cars. So something to think about if that's what you're looking for. Uh, cool looking car, a little bit blurry on the engine photo, but it looks pretty tidy in there, mostly original. Um, more room for a big block if you wanted to upgrade this car. Very nice car. I think at 39,000, um, that's at the top of the price range, so maybe he's a little negotiable. Maybe you can get a better deal on that. Uh, this car was posted five days ago, so it's fairly recent. Clean title. You want to contact this guy if you're in the market for these. Uh, talk to him, see if he's negotiable, and talk about what else has been replaced. It sounds like there's a lot of details he can tell you about. I wouldn't say fix or pass on this car. I'd say just buy this car. It doesn't look like there's too much to do to it. So if this is what you're in the market for, you might be able to talk him down a little bit. Go ahead and buy this car. All right, next one. This one was posted two days ago. 66 Cadillac DeVille convertible, 29999 in Nashville, Tennessee. So this is right at the same price point as that Coronet, but a very different car, a uh, much larger car. Uh, not too many detailed facts here, not too many detailed, what would you call these, stats on this car? Because it looks like it's listed at Nashville Speed Shop, so maybe a dealer or a shop that's done some work on it. Uh, just the basic info here, mileage. They have a stock number, so that's definitely a dealer. Um, they put inventory numbers on their cars. It does uh, new power soft top, new interior, fresh paint. Got the big 429 V8. That's kind of standard for these huge Cadillacs. Let's look at some pictures. So yeah, this car is pretty awesome looking. This is a big slab sided car. This was like the peak of, of these huge comfortable cruisers. These cars ride really nice. I've been in one, not a convertible, but 166 coupe with low original miles. And it was one of the smoothest riding and driving cars I've ever been in. It was super quiet in there. There's a reason that you know people compare everything to Cadillacs because during this time period, that was the peak. That was the pinnacle. You were doing really well in life if you had a Cadillac and these were just considered really like symbols of success or wealth or you know whatever you want to call it but a Cadillac was top of the line really cool car and they're kind of still that way I mean you still you see the car like this out on the street and it's just it's really cool to look at it stands out this one being a convertible it's it's got a lot going for it I kind of like this brown color um, not a real bright color but pretty classy looking I think it's a uh, I think it's still relevant really nice top it looks like they just replaced this so that looks pretty pretty fresh some good pictures. It looks like they took pictures all around town in this car to give you an idea of what it'd be like if you take this car out on a date or you go out cruising on a Friday night or something. Uh, tires look pretty good. There's a lot of exterior shots. The exterior looks great. Uh, it says fresh paint, so that looks great. These big, long side panels, it's a lot of body work. If you're a body man, I mean, you're going to have fun blocking these and getting them aero straight. But this car looks pretty clean. A lot of times Cadillacs to these luxury vehicles, they were just maintained better. They were more well kept throughout their life because they were so valuable even when new. So they've, they've usually lived like more of a pampered life, I guess you would call it. Um, nice interior, again, black. So be careful with the heat. I noticed on this interior, they went with cloth on the insert. That will help a lot. You get black leather and I mean, you can almost just feel it sticking to your back right now as we talk about it. So. The cloth interior probably helps quite a bit with that. It's got some aftermarket speakers shoved in there so you can listen to your tunes. Uh, pretty well presented car. Not a lot of pictures of the underside or the engine bay or any of that, so you might be able to reach out to them being a dealership or, or a speed shop, whatever they are, and get some more details on that. Um, find out, you know, these 88,000 miles or those original miles, has it rolled over? Has the engine ever been rebuilt? There's a ton of questions to ask on this ad. Um, because there's just not a lot of information. A lot of pictures look really cool, but they don't show you a lot of the up-close details. So this car, you're gonna need to go look at it. $30,000 is a pretty penny, but you're getting a lot of car. I mean, figuratively and physically, that's just a lot of car. So if you want a big comfy cruiser, I'd say go ahead and buy this car. So another one, not a fix or pass, but a buy, because it looks pretty, pretty complete. All right, let's move on. Um, very last one here, we're on Craigslist still. This one is in Hollywood, Florida, I believe. Let's see, yep. So just south of Fort Lauderdale. Uh, 71 Ford LTD Project. So I'm wondering, because in 
<laughs> well, in Spanish, you know, like the J has like a Y sound. So this might be a native Spanish speaker, which would make sense in, in Florida. But let's see here, 390, transmission good. Rust in general, <laughs> title clear. Okay, rust in general, right off the bat, uh, I don't have high hopes for what this car is gonna be for us here. Posted 50 days ago. Um, like I said, the convertible cars, they can get really rusty. Let's look at some up close pictures. Looks like it's been repainted. You see some like blue coming out. At one point they even painted the bumper. Uh, this usually has a giant chrome bumper and that's white as well. So a lot of amateurish work in the past already. Top has giant holes in it, so this car it's probably a bathtub right now. Every time it rains there, it's probably just filling up with water. Um, not a good thing. Not a good thing. I, like I said, I don't have high hopes for this car. It's got a trailer hitch because um, it does have a big block and automatic. So this car could tow something, no problem, if it was in good running driving condition. It's a big, heavy car. I don't think you have any problem towing a, a decent trailer with this. I don't know how many people are out there looking for a convertible as their tow rig, but <laughs> they exist. We're looking at a trailer hitch here, so. Very rusty car. I mean, we'll, we'll see if they show any more pictures of this, but I can see right off the bat. Looks like a spare dashboard um, to replace whatever's going on over here. A lot of parts in there. This is parts for somebody's house. This is like rain gutter drainage. Kind of an interesting, it looks like a stick shift, but I'm looking over here and it's got uh, automatic transmission brake pedal. It's real wide, the stick shift cars. I don't even know if you could get this car in stick shift originally, I, I doubt it. But stick shift cars will have two narrow pedals um, instead of this big wide one. Okay, uh, here we have the engine bay. It's an FE, it's a 390. Looks like it hasn't been in service in a long time. Um, parts are off of it. It's never good when you see like an air cleaner just over off to the side. Uh, you don't really want your engine sitting around with anything like open like this, especially in the in the carb area. Like stuff can just fall down into the intake manifold, and then even if this engine was in okay shape, you got a nut or a bolt in there, or like even some acorns or something, you could really damage it the first time you fire it up. Someone's been like kind of hot riding. It's got these like XL yellow wires. Um, Ford FE engine is is a pretty good engine, and honestly. This might be running. I'm looking at like this blur right here and this might be a fan blade and I'm looking at the alternator here. It looks like it might be spinning. So you might have a runner here, which is, uh, which is interesting. Um, here it's not spinning, clearly. This thing just makes me nervous. There's well oiled down here on the transmission. So the engine's probably leaking everywhere. Transmission's probably got leaks. You can kind of see some of the suspension and the steering here. Not really anything to like, give you a better idea of the condition. Uh, this is gonna be a, a hard pass for me. Uh, the rust in general thing, he's not very specific. There's not a lot of detailed shots of the rust. It's really not that desirable of a car to start with. Um, it's a huge car, but it's, it's a Ford LTD and it's not like a Cadillac or a Lincoln or something like that. Uh, it's not a big luxury car. It's just a big car with a big block. Don't worry about gas if you're getting into this because you just shouldn't even look at the pump when you fill this thing up. Um, but I'm gonna pass on this. It's cheap, it's 2,900 bucks, but you get what you pay for with something like this. Uh, there's not a lot of aftermarket support for this car either, so if you're missing any trim and you wanna restore this car, you're gonna have a, a long uphill battle for you on this one. So that wraps up all the projects that we're gonna review as far as convertibles. Uh, we actually had, I mean, I wouldn't say a hard time finding projects, but there's definitely less available in the convertible area. Um, and that's kind of a reason also, if you notice, we've never given away a convertible as a sweepstakes car. We live in San Diego, so it would be really cool to have one here. I mean, I'm sure we could drive it all the time, but most places in the country, they're very fair weather cars. So you're, you're not driving these cars year round. You have a couple month window. Um, and even when they were new, people had that, that thought process on them. So they, did, they, never, they never sold high volumes of convertibles. So if you're in the market for it, you might, you might have a little bit harder time. Just be patient, look for the right car, really look at rust. I mean, we talk about that on all the old cars, but when you don't have a roof on your car, it's good, rust is gonna be a problem, you know? So you wanna find the right car if you're looking for a convertible. Uh, so let us know what you thought of this. Um, and we're always looking for cars to review. Uh, sometimes we do themes, sometimes we just do whatever we think is cool. So we might go back to that. Um, but thank you for watching and uh, keep having fun with cars.